Thanks again for joining me. And if you've made it this far with me, I give you a ton of credit. Welcome to RCA STS 1230 part 20. Wow. 20 videos putting this DIY Radio Shack RCA STS 1230 three way 12 inch system together. It's been a real uh, journey and it's had some ups and downs. I think that we're on our downhill side now. And part 20, okay? I want this to be the ultimate RCA STS-1230 video ever made. I'm not sure if they ever made any, but I'm making the first one. So here's the deal. Um, you see two different variations of this speaker. Now they are both operational. I will demonstrate. That sounded pretty cool. I don't know if you could hear the difference between the two. There's not a ton. Um, I'm not going to even say which one I think sounds better because I don't want to put any ideas in your head. I want you to actually kind of listen for yourself, put some headphones on, turn on your AVR, put on your home theater, whatever. I do have frequency responses though for it. That, uh, I did um, actually take some frequency responses just using the Dr. Mix thing and just did a quick full sweep. So I can put those in, you can kind of see the differences between the two. I'll tell you what I noticed on the graphs and maybe you will see them too, is that this tweeter actually tends to make the response of the mid-range a little bit flatter. Yeah, it seems to make the crossover flatter. This one here, the tweeter actually has a better frequency response, flatter frequency response, but it kind of messes with the frequency response of the Dayton reference mid-range. So uh, that's to be expected. You know, you're mixing and matching the different, you know, impedances and their varying resistances as they, you know, go against that crossover, which, you know, if this is your first time watching, um, what I have inside of here is an old La Spada crossover. It's just an off-the-shelf crossover. Um, so it's just designed for an 8-ohm load. And yeah, so, you know, when you change up the, the, the speakers and you're using a stock crossover, it's going to, it's going to mess with that frequency response some. But, uh, at any rate, it's not so bad that I wouldn't go ahead and finish this pair of speakers and go ahead and put the hole in this one that I need to put in this one. Uh, you know, put the hole in that, get the tweeter in there, get it all wired up and listen to them both together so that they're both equal. Then I can do some measuring. But uh, for right now, this video is just going to be, man, part 20, hooray. I've finally got a finished set of speakers. And then later on down the road, I'll do more of that tweaking and tuning and that kind of stuff.
Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the video. Well, see, that's all there is to it. Easy. <laughs> oh man. All right, so I'm saving the best part for last. I have not turned them on yet as a pair. I've got the receiver on, but I got nothing playing. So you are here with me, and we're gonna see if this speaker works. Hopefully both of them work. Ooh, I hear it. Last night, yes, I had a dream of us coming together. This is called Dancing with Grandpa. What a perfect song for me.
Okay. Wow. <laughs> well, they both work. They're sounding good. And that's it for this video. Um, I might get into these a little bit later on down the road as far as testing them and whatnot. Um, right now, I'm just really happy that they're both working. I'm going to listen to them. Let these, you know, upper drivers really break in good. The woofers, they've got lots of hours on them, but these don't. So anyway, I'm going to do some listening, then do some measuring, give you some impressions. But uh, overall, um, not at all the original intended design, but they look pretty good. They sound pretty good so far. Um, yeah, so... Uh, not at the budget level I originally planned for. Took longer than I planned on. But I think that they're going to be pretty nice speakers. I hope. Anyway, hey, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you. Any comments, suggestions, constructive criticism, anything, put it in the comments down below. Um, links to your projects. If you've got DIY projects, I'd love to see them. If you guys got YouTube channels, throw the links in my comments, man. I'd love to see them. I might already be subscribed to your channel if you have a YouTube channel that builds speakers and stuff. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you. Thanks again.